I'm gonna go in the back. Yeah. Walk down mid. We need to walk down mid. It is intense. Oh, shit. Oh, no, finish, 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 finish. finish. It's intense emotion. Team Liquid needing every win at the end of the split. No matter what you're doing, you're always thinking about the game. It just consumes your life. We are Team Liquid. We play League of Legends competitively in the LCS. League of Legends is a 5 on 5 strategy game. Essentially, two teams are fighting each other, constantly trying to push into the enemy base and destroy their nexus, which is kind of the command center of everything. You have to navigate a square map with three lanes. There's a middle, a top, and a bottom lane. And there's also a jungle, which is kind of like this wild maze. The game is really strategic. It would kind of be like if chess had constantly changing pieces that did different things. On our team, we have Ole, Impact, Smithy, Cobelter, and me, Double Oak. Might seem weird from the outside, but on Team Liquid, we have gaming house type situation where we live together in apartments. Oh, it's because we have Olaf, so he doesn't want to But now we go to work in an office. We separate our work life and our regular life. We're the only team in America that has an office like this. I think a gaming facility is unheard of, so we're the first. You can give crappy players all the resources in the world, all the tools to succeed, and they won't do anything with it. So our team is, you know, an elite team. It's time for a name change already. So today it is Friday. We have a match tomorrow against TSM, and currently the guys are in an intense uh, training session with another team. Um, this is actually like a daily thing for us, where we practice from uh, 11 to 2, and then from 3 to 6, and then we do another practice schedule from about 7 to 9. So these guys are practicing day in and day out for multiple hours, anywhere from 10 to 16 hours. It's impossible to have a normal life. There's no limit to how much you can practice because there's no physical demand on your body. You know, every day from 10 a.m. until 10 or 11 p.m. And then after that, we practice more on our own. We're constantly going to the review room. We'll watch the game, we'll discuss how we felt at certain points. What was the weak points? What was our strong points? Like, how, how can we take something away from this game? We just work endlessly to improve. When it's game day, we wake up. We do our pre-match rituals, whatever everyone wants to do. We get together at the apartments and we usually kind of joke around, hang out, and make sure that none of us are nervous or feeling bad, unconfident that day. I think uh, this whole like 12 hour day is pretty unsustainable. Most pros right now are struggling with burnout. People quit when they're like 21, 22. Most pros, they fizzled out. When we all go to LCS, we'll probably eat a little bit there if we haven't already. And then we'll warm up. We'll get really, really detailed about that day's strategy. You just focus on Kate. I'm gonna block Tanket's trade. 
Then you let me trade. Yeah, yeah, I, can, I can try. I don't know if I win against Caitlyn one v one. And after that, we go backstage. Just have the memory of like an ant. But yeah. Yeah, we can Hello and welcome back for a game with major playoff implications. TSM versus Team Liquid, Zyrene. It's time to get excited. If you weren't already! I was already excited! Let's go! Uh, this is this is going to be not an easy one. If Team Liquid can have a good start, I think we can see a Liquid very, three, very competitive one, two, three, Walking LCS, from, for some of us, it's really new. There's a lot of energy at the arena. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, we'll see what happens in this game, as that's all these teams have right now. When you go to LCS, everyone's just cheering and just having a good time. My favorite part of how high this crowd is is not just the energy they're bringing, but they're smart enough to coordinate chance alternating so they make sure their team gets in there. When you're on stage and you're playing for real, your energy level is so much higher. Oh, the wall is very nice there to Barasovsky. Combos it all the way in and Mindy's gonna get caught on the front lines. I think your focus is a lot more high too, but it could also backfire. Team Liquid still forced back up against the bricks of their own base. That's still 50 seconds on impact. TSM, if they have the damage, they can end the game. Is XP going to try and Whoa. fight him out? I like the attempt. Play into the fountain is not enough to kill Haunter and Mitty. That's it. Will protect his team to take it down. The Nexus will be claimed by TSM as they take down Liquid in the rematch. We have like really inconsistent results on stage because we don't stick to one style. Really curious. I don't know what's going on. Like we drafted and we practiced the whole week, playing through bot side. We played Varus Thresh into Ezreal Braum. We said it multiple times. We're gonna play through bot side in game. Even we said it too, and we lost first turret. We didn't play through bot side. Like just as the game got on, it got worse because none of our champions can reach Ezreal or do anything to him. Mm -hmm. Same with GP, kind of. We didn't really play against either of those in practice that much, and we got fucked really hard by both of them. We didn't fight just one time, actually. Four. Yeah, Tyrion fight. And we... Uh, one time we win. Uh, one, time, one time, one yeah, time. Yeah, we fight and we win. We won, right? Yeah, yeah. but that time is... I, I want to talk about that too, because... After, I won't TP that, but we don't have war. You know, I'm asking war, and no one answered. We knew all of us coming, so... I think we just chunk and just land time back, and waste their time. I think we waste all of time, like one or two times. But that time I died, so I don't know. Like pretty bad. We play. We tried to play the bot. It failed. We tried to play the top. It's just not worth it. So and is is, I, is the trade bad? Like getting mid turret for bottom turret is that bad? Is it that or is it that bad that we we're gonna lose the game? Uh, I think when I play, like, I feel like we're. It's not, it's not that bad, but like we're just really bad at playing it. Like I play when I play against his eighties, like Varys and and Cog. When I lose tower, I feel like the game is just so fucking hard for us to play because. I, mean, I don't think I don't think mid and top. You guys yeah, do a very good job with resources. Yeah, yeah. Peter, Peter. Any AD can first tower against fucking yeah. hard. This has happened. It's terrible. Like we hate it. Yeah, you know, like we we messed up on stage against a good team. Went back to the animal training facility at like six, and we met and practiced until two a.m. We reviewed that game like two to three times. We talked about every small aspect of it so many times until everyone just like absolutely understood. Clutch versus Team Liquid about to hit the rift. An eight and seven Team Liquid. As you're saying, this week isn't any easier for Liquid and Clutch and Cloud9. They need these victories here. They want to get those wins. Like no matter who that next day's game was, I don't think we stood a chance. Smithy stops the backs, Impact is gonna take it himself. Lyra on the other side, he says if I can completely route him, get him in the pen, he just goes for the ultimate. Flag and drag out for double lift, and it's the teleport in from Impact. He's in the middle of the fight, but it's not a Narvar, and they go right for Hakuo. Hakuo is down as Apollo gets dropped by Ole. The fight, the dance, 
What a beautiful job by Team Liquid as they take out each member of Clutch Gaming one by one. That is going to be the game. Team Liquid take down Clutch Gaming. It's the feeling of winning that we're chasing. We don't care about the prize money that comes after, the sponsorships. When you devote your whole life to something, you really think about the journey and all the things that you did, all the sacrifices you made, and then when you finally win, you feel justified, you feel relief, and you feel proud. At this point, none of us can honestly say League is a hobby. It's our life, but it's mainly our job. I think more and more people are starting to get it, or starting to like understand, oh, this is something that's happening. It's something that's going to be integrated in like every country everywhere. So esports is going to be huge, and this is just the beginning. Thanks, man. Thanks.